welcome back to my channel, I'm Rhonda. Today we'll be making the Aussie favourite, the Lamington. So let's get started. You'll need four eggs and one tablespoon of grated lemon rind. Place them in a mixer, stain mixer. And start beating slowly on low speed. on medium speed and incorporate the sugar slowly. Now I add one tablespoon of vanilla paste and mix on high. Keep beating the egg mixture on high for at least seven minutes to light and fluffy and it's pale in colour. The mixture should be like ribbon when you pull it up and you scoop it up and it forms a ribbon when you uh, lift it. That means that the egg is ready and it's nice and ready to add the flour. It should look like this. Just like white clouds. Now slowly add 25 grams of uh, butter in a quarter of a cup of boiling water. This will melt the butter and slowly incorporate it into the batter. I'm using a whisk here and gently folding it in. You will need one cup of self-raising flour and half a cup of corn flour sifted three times. This will give you a lighter sponge and gradually add the flour into the batter around uh, three parts. Just gradually add the flour a bit at a time and whisking gently after each addition. Please comment below if you've subscribed. I would love to hear from you. Add the last batch of the flour and this will be the last fold. Line and grease a sheet tin with parchment paper and pour the batter into the tin. Even the batter out to the edges of the tin. This will give you an even uh, sponge. Drop teaspoons of uh, strawberry jam all over the top of the cake. Get a skewer and uh, swirl the jam into the batter of the cake, all over the top of the cake. Just swirl it all in. Bake at 170 degrees for 20 minutes. Once the sponge is cooked, let it cool completely in the tin before uh, turning it over. upside down and remove the parchment paper. Now flip the cake back around the other side. I used a measuring ruler here to get even uh, slices. So I'm cutting my sponge into fingers and cut the size that you would like. The ruler is really good because it will give you even pieces and you know exactly how big you want to cut them. Now turn the sponge around and cut 
cut the desired uh, length that you want of your sponge. So the pieces should be at least one centimeter long, um, or you can have bite-sized pieces as well. But I thought this around one centimeter is a good size. chocolate sauce you'll need about one cup of icing sugar sifted and three tablespoons of cocoa powder and make sure you sift them all together and give them a mix in another bowl a larger bowl uh, add some boiling water and place the other bowl on top of the hot water we're going to um, mix some milk in here and we're going to uh, have the butter and milk and everything melted over the hot water and this will give us the sauce. Slowly just add in the milk, add 25 grams of soft butter as well and keep mixing until it melts. Keep mixing until it's all melted until you end up with a chocolate runny sauce. Place a piece of parchment paper under a wire rack as we're going to be dipping the sponge in the chocolate and we're going to place them on the rack to get to set them. Place each piece of the sponge cake into the uh, chocolate sauce and coat it all over. Once you have coated it, uh, drain it from the excess sauce and place it onto the coconut and coat coat it all over with the coconut as well, covering the sponge. Then set it aside onto the rack so it sets. for at least half an hour so all the cakes have set completely. Once they have set, decorate them with some fresh cream and some fresh strawberries on top. These are absolutely delightful for a high tea or just if you're having friends over for a cup of coffee. These will keep up to about one week in an egg tight container. You don't have to put cream on them. But if you put them in an airtight container, they will last for at least a week. Don't they look so beautiful? How pretty are these? Everybody loves Leamington's. They're a favourite with everyone. Thank you. 